Hi guys, so I'm back again with some updates to the shift the build. Let's have a look. So, first is this handbrake again. Now, this has been tweaked just a little bit by turning it into an analog one. So, with this potentiometer here, I'm able to give as much handbrake force or apply as much handbrake force as I want depending on the game if it actually supports it and then there's the return spring that puts it back to zero then there's this little wire here that hasn't been there before and it comes here and attaches to this Arduino micro, not nano, a micro. And what that actually is, is this. Yes, it's a um, let's have a look, it's a um, it's a pedal for a um, sewing machine. And this is gonna be the clutch. So I took the old electronics out and just installed this 50 kilo ohm variable resistor or, or a sliding potentiometer here and wired up into the Arduino. So, there have been some ma major changes in the code, so let's have a look at that next. Right, so the code has now a uh, joystick library applied to it with this include line here, and you can download that library from GitHub from this address. I'm going to be put I'm gonna put it in the, the video description now. Um, everything here is pretty much the same except the handbrake is no longer being bound into any pin. This is pretty much all the same. Now here we have two inputs, A3 and A2. These are analog input pins 3 and 2. And then we have the A0 and A1 set as outputs. Now these are actually uh, going to be set to constant 5 volts with this digital write. So they are being so the analog pins are being used as digital pins. These supply the volt voltage to the clutch and handbrake potentiometers. Now the actual code for the gears has been also changed. Now it's a joystick period set button and then there's the index of the button so zero is actually button number one and then it's set to high or, or it's being pushed when the uh, when the micro switch has shorted the pin digital output into the ground, you know the deal, it's the same like as in the uh, keyboard one. And this allows me to you leave the shifter in gear and it doesn't write any numbers on any chat windows you might have open, for example, the Steam chat or something like that. Then the biggest new I use, you can see here the uh, old handbrake. I'm gonna just leave it commented over there. But then there's this the analog read. This reads the analog input 3 pin and it first checks if the pin has a value that's higher than that. 
which sets the throttle, funnily enough, to zero. I'm going to be using the uh, throttle and rudder settings because, as you can see, well, the properties, they have these nice little sliders instead of being X or Y. And as you can see, the joystick library allows you to make your own own um, game controller that has up to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 different analog axes and 32 digital buttons and a POV hat. So, um, the um, the uh, throttle is set to zero, or the handbrake is set to be off, essentially. And when it's below that value, it then reads the value, multiplies it by that because in it, when the handbrake is being pulled, it changes the value HB val here from 0 to 255 according to what is being put in to the A3 pin. So this is just the uh, equation that gives us the HB val in, in as an integer. Now this is unique for this system you'll have to calculate it on your own for your own system if you decide to build one and here are a couple of checks if the HP one is less than zero then it's put to zero if it's larger than 255 then it's put to 255 which is the maximum value for the uh, slider and the same thing is done for this except this actually needs to be rather and the same checks apply here and C val is going to be the clutch value and it has the uh, has a similar thing here as it does here and it just sets the clutch and handbrake Values. So, if we go into the game control settings and properties, we can see that when I pull the handbrake, the throttle of the slider goes up. If I press the clutch, the rudder play, rudder slider goes up. So, those are the changes that have been done in the code, and. I guess that's pretty much it for this update video. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you next time or whatever. Yay, coding!